Famous Autopsies Part 68, Phil Hartman. Comedy genius Phil Hartman's murder rocked America. When he married his third wife, Bryn, people close to him knew that it wouldn't end well, but nobody saw the grisly violence coming. Phil was a late-in-life comedian. It wasn't until the 80s that his career took off when he landed a regular role on Saturday Night Live. He went on to create Pee Wee Herman's character and starred in movies and television sitcoms. By the mid-90s, Phil's marriage grew toxic. Bryn struggled with insecurities when her modeling career fizzled out. She also had a mean temper and substance abuse issues that inflamed her moods. At the break of May 28, 1998, Bryn returned home from a friend's house when she began arguing with Phil. Phil retreated to the bedroom to sleep, hoping she would cool down. Instead, she grabbed her handgun and shot him several times at close range while he slept. She continued to drink for over an hour before going to a friend's house to confess. Both went back to her home when her friend dialed 911. Once police arrived, she barricaded herself in the room with Phil's body and fired the gun at her head. Phil was found in a pool of blood curled up semi-fetal in bed with his head on his pillow. He had a gunshot wound to his forehead with damage to bone tissue, indicating that the weapon made contact with his skin. He had a gunshot wound to his right lower jaw with stippling or gunpowder particles. This means that the wound was inflicted within one centimeter to one meter. He also had similar wounds to his right forearm and upper chest. His right ulna, or forearm bone, and right seventh rib was fractured. His liver, an area that attaches the intestines to his abdominal wall, was perforated by the bullet. His death was obviously a homicide and caused was multiple gunshot wounds. The shot to his forehead would have, at minimum, rendered him unconscious immediately. 